It's amazing. It's beautiful. It's very comfortable, you know, it's warm. Just walking into a place like this where everything's new and vital and fresh is exhilarating. It's just beautiful. Outstanding. My professors are great. Between how they teach and just their, their persona and their you know characteristics of themselves, it's all it all falls in line. What don't they do? You know, they they make you laugh, they make you think, they make you happy, sad. They help you really find yourself and put you in a direction that's healthy for you. I every day I feel like like really I'm looking forward to come to class. It's just I feel like I'm coming to my second home. This new technology that we have puts us back in that role as leaders and collaborators. The lecture balls are incredible. The technology, it's just really going to change the way our students learn and their enthusiasm for learning in such a comfortable environment. In between classes, I do sit in the lobby. It's very accommodating. There's plenty of seating space. And then the placement of the classrooms um, is better in this new design. Where offices are versus where classrooms are, it's much more cleanly designed. But the moment you enter the hallway of the offices, there's that bright, natural light coming in. And so, to me, there's a brightness and a lightness that I think is uplifting. The vending machines in this building have water in them. We have a vending machine that has all kinds of healthy alternatives, breakfast bars and snacks that are more healthy. An additional part of the water station where if you take a reusable water cup and you put it up there and fills it up, you're not using any water bottles that are plastic, you're not um, letting any of those into a landfill, and there's even a counter that says how many plastic bottles have been saved. So those are those are some small ways, but we think symbolic and significant ways of promoting health. Typically, faculty are housed in universities according to their department. So they're all in the same building or the same wing or unit or something. We decided intentionally that we were going to not do that. By mixing the different departments up in that way, it allows for us to interact with people with completely different research interests. So I think it's really going to promote cross-departmental research opportunities that we wouldn't have had before. We wanted this building to have a sense of place. That is, you're in North Dakota. No one ever thought we'd see this happen in our lifetime. Um, I took classes in, as an undergrad in the education building and it's, it's just such an incredible change. That has been the most fun for me. But we have a long history of providing manipulatives, hands-on materials, supports and resources that engage the mind, that the technology then becomes the true educational tool to support the learning. And I think that, in that sense, that new technology enhances what already is a very strong program.